So much asked of a 17-year-old. Elise Perry comes to the crease. Her 2020 debut. She's basically a, a genuine rookie full stop in the Australian team. So she's got to play an important role now. Elise Perry, she's young and exciting. It's be a big test for her. Fly to this one and spanked. One bounce, four. Marsh once again has popped it up as a rank full toss. No, She's got that right out of the screws. One bounce for four. And Elise Perry, well, who knows? But I think I know it's going to be exciting, whatever she does. The English have swapped their fielders. They've just got four on the right of screen and five on the left of screen. So that's what Blackwell was thinking. They're going to bowl wide of off. Oh, that's a big shot. That is a big shot. The fielder's down there and she runs over the rope. She's kept it in, but Elise Perry's still running. Oh, now she's taking on the third. She makes it. That is a brilliant shot right off the bat. It's almost a full-blooded six at the MCG. She crosses her feet, smashes down the ground. The fielder misjudges it slightly. Those last three back paddling steps, but takes the catch and then, oh no, there's rope. What an amazing amount of play here happening. We've got Lydia Greenway on the boundary. She's saved a six. She's dropped the catch. She's got the ball back in extremely quickly. And Isha Gua, with all the time in the world to run Elise Perry out, has fumbled. Perry on strike. Crossover. Smashes again. Has she gone all the way this time? You betcha! They say perfect practice makes perfect shots. Here we go. She practiced two balls ago. Didn't quite make it all the way. This time, though, Lydia Greenway had no chance whatsoever. That is an enormous six by Perry. Last ball. It's on again. She's found the gap this time. She'll pick up two. She's going to push for three, but there's no need for it. What a great finish. It looked like 110 was going to be a lot. 29 of 25 deliveries she's in face. So it's a brilliant achievement. And it's... Uh, Captain Rolton bringing the young Elise Perry into the attack. We saw some fine batting from her. Another one of the all-rounders. Look how young her face is. She's a baby, 17. And not only is she a talented cricketer, she plays soccer at uh, a high level as well. So it's all ahead of her. Let's hope she stays with cricket. Okay. That one will present a chance in the deep. Under it, under it, and taken. A bit of a head cruncher. She's given herself a bit of whiplash, I think. But it was a brilliant catch in the outfield. It had to be taken. Australia really dominating here at the MCG. Well, it was smart by Perry again. She's held back on it. It's a slower ball out of the hand. Birch didn't pick it. She went through with the shot. And that is just a brilliant catch by Shelly Nitschke. It was a wise choice by uh, Captain Rolton to bring her into the attack. At 17 years of age, she is bowling at the right length. She's got the change up. That brought about her wicket. And here she goes, starting her third over. And there's good pace. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant by the youngster. Gee, she's putting on a show for us tonight. Well, the Matildas played an international soccer match here a couple of years ago, but uh, I think after this game here, you would hope that Elise Perry picks cricket to go along with. She's had a wonderful match. She's hit runs, she's got wickets, and now she's got another run out for Australia. Not just anyone here has got Claire Taylor, the batter England were looking at to steer them to victory. Well, there's every chance of 17. You come in and you're a bit daunted by the whole occasion. You're playing with uh, girls you've, you've been looking up to for a lot of years. You say, oh, and then she gets another wicket. She just gets a bang on target. She's not overawed by any stretch of the imagination. And, and what I like too is she's so young, but all the other girls with more experience are helping her out, full of encouragement. Why wouldn't you be full of an encouragement when a player this young has pretty much led you to a victory at the age of 17? You can see the excitement on Leonie Coleman's face as well. And it's Perry who wants uh, her third wicket. Two for 12. This is the start of the fourth. And there's the third. There it is. It's that old saying for a bowler. If I'm straight and on target, you miss, I'll hit. Fantastic bowling once again. I'm starting to wonder why she was picked so late in her career, really. <laughs> That's right. 14, maybe, or just out of nappies. She's bowling so well, and that's combined with her 29 of 25 deliveries she's faced. So it's a, a brilliant achievement. 
This should be the last ball of the match. Oh, and nearly another one. Oh, it's an inside edge and taken by Coleman, the keeper. We thought that she had to hit the stumps to get that fourth wicket. But no, 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 an inside edge will grab a one as well. So... The player of the match, Elise Perry, finishes four for 20 off her four overs, and England only manage eight for 106. Well, we'll miss the stumps, but I tell you what, that is a wonderful catch by Leonie Coleman. Just to wrap up a fabulous game by Elise Perry, that takes her to four wickets for the match. And I think the crowd here at the MCG have been very lucky enough to see the start of a very, very bright future for the Australian Southern Stars. I'm here with the player of the match in the Ladies 2020 International. Our 17-year-old who made runs, took wickets, was brilliant in the field, Elise Perry. Now, Elise, is that a dream come true for your debut on the MCG? Yeah, I definitely think it is. And it's also a really great start for the whole team to the series coming up. So I think we couldn't be happier. Now, you went in at 5 for 71. Did you know that, that it was 5 for 71? And what were you thinking? Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, the girls made a great start and we had a bit of trouble during the middle of the overs. And I think I thought my mindset going out was just sort of trying to to play my game and sort of keep that intent going with the batting and just see if it comes off or not. And what is your game? Is it hitting sixes at the MCG down the ground? Uh, well, I guess that's the plan, but um, yeah, no, just sort of, you know, getting bat on ball and seeing what happens. It turned out that that partnership was the key to get to 128 and made it just a little too hard for England to get there. Yeah, definitely, I think so. I mean, Kate was tremendous as well and she batted really, really well and I think it was great that we could have that partnership and, you know, hopefully put a competitive total on the board. Was there any Anything you tried today that didn't come off? You had it a lot. You had sixes, runs, wickets, back flick onto the stumps uh, and runouts. Yeah, well, there's a couple of wides in there, so there's definitely some room for improvement. You're very difficult to, very tough to please, that's for sure. Elise, congratulations. There's $500, which is a handy pickup from Cricket Australia, and uh, congratulations. Good luck for the, the near future against England. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks to Cricket Australia and also to the crowd. They were great.